sana kabla sijaleta mama aonge nasi alete baba tuko na ndugu yangu kutoka kule western yeye ndiye amekuwa mkubwa wa magavana wote Kenya mi nikiwa waziri wa ugatuzi na kuna jambo ambalo amekuwa anahimiza sana mambo ya devolution na unataka tukubaliane na the civil society one of the issues you have raised here ni kwamba Kenya kwanza haitambui ugatuzi na haina haja na ugatuzi vile comrades hamjapata help yenu vile wafanyikazi wa university tumesikia lecturers hapo wakisema hawajapata mishahara yao na all civil servants vile vile county zetu zote hazijapokea pesa tangu december this is the beginning of the end of devolution governor oparanya karibu usalimu watu wetu ndio tulete mama na baba asante wananchi ya mjambo amjambo tena all protocols of sabt baba na wale viongozi wengine na wale ambao wamekuja siku ya leo yangu kwanza ni kumshukuru mmepata nafasi ya kuja kuongea hapa kasi yetu leo ilikuwa kusikiza na tumesikia but before i go far when you see these figures that were here the theft that was done here it annoys you wengine tulikuwa tunatafuta kura hatulali lakini wengine kazi yao ni kupanga vile wataiba kura this arouses bitterness to many people in this country You have spoken so many things here. You have raised so many issues here. But in my capacity as the chairman of the Asimio Executive Council, I want to refocus you, refocus you people on four important issues that we have put on the table so that we don't lose that particular focus as members of this movement the first one is cost of living and we unveiled these issues when we unveiled the committee the parliamentary committee that we have selected we should not lose focus on the cost of living and the cost of living we are looking at short term what are the issues that we are looking at cost of food cost of fuel cost of electricity and school fees other issues are long term we cannot deal with the complicated physical and monetary policies that they are those ones we can deal with later because the issue of cost of living is easier to deal with because it is the Kenya Kwanza government that removed subsidies the solution is to return subsidies immediately there will be a major change in cost of living The second issue is the opening of the Saba which we can put together with the IPC reconstitution of the committee. That one has been understood very well with those who came here to talk about it. That is a very critical issue and what you have seen here as said by my colleague here is reason. 
The people who did this are not even the commissioners. They are people who are working in the ID, I, I, IT section. IT section within the IBC. These people are still in employment. They are there. Who are used to steal this election. And I feel one of the recommendations is to scrap the entire IBC as it happened before. So that from the sweeper up to the chairman, they are all sent home. So that we have fresh people, committed Kenyans, who are looking for those particular jobs to do them. The other issue that we, we are focused on, this party discipline, buying of leaders, buying of members of parliament, in the name of going to state house, being told that you are, you are coming here for development. You know very well there is devolution, money is going to counties, Monies are going to constituencies in the name of CDF to help in development. What other development are you going to state house to get? These members of parliament. We cannot build democracy in this country, sustain it, if members of parliament are being bought day and night in the name of development. That is an, uh, the third issue. The last issue is the exclusion of other communities from civil service employment. You have seen what is happening. Even you, the youth, because that time, wakati ule, nyinyi vijana ndiyo mlikuwa mnasema hasula, hasula, hasula. Munyambia wakati hu, how many youth have been employed in all these people who have been employed? from the CSS, from the PSS, and from the CASS. And even those who have been appointed as members of the boards, chairman of the boards, tell me how many hustlers are there. That is an issue. Because this country belongs to all of us. And we must be included because all of us pay taxes. So we must be included in that. Those are the four critical issues that we are focusing on. But other issues might arise and we shall look at them as they arise. The other day in Kimaliza, I met one of them and he was telling me, he was asking me, how is the financier? How is your financier? I said, who is this financier? Atu Uhuru Kinyata. Nikasema, when we go for this mass action, do we pay the people who come there? Do we transport people who come there? Do we transport them? It is only the, the address system. You mean these people cannot afford an address system? Do we finance those ladies who pour water on us when there is jackass who use that water? To wipe our eyes. Do we pay them? So which finances is here? And if Uru can finance Raila Molodiga this time, how come when Raila was demonstrating against him, who was financing Raila Molodiga? And this is not the first time Raila is, is leading such a movement. It has happened before. But you Kenyans, as we live here, remember, we have had election disputes from 2007-2008. We lost so many lives. 2013, 2017, and now we are on 2022. We must have a lasting solution for this problem. If we have to have stability and economic growth in this country, we must have that. But the Amwisho, I'm surprised when Ruto says that we can't borrow for current expenditure. When 
people are going without salaries. And salaries is a major expenditure within the economy. That's how you grow the economy by putting more money in the economy through the people. And the salary is the only equitable way of putting money in the economy. And that's why 2007-2008, when we had problems here in Kenya, we had to come up with economic stimulus so that we pour more money in the economy to grow the economy so that people can get employment. Asante Nisan. Uh, thank you very much. I think that was our last speaker before I now bring our main speakers.